Let's look at the power of passive solar heating. In here, in this building, it is 71 degrees. A very comfortable temperature. That's uh, Fahrenheit. It's around 21 degrees Celsius, I think. Out here, it's kind of chilly. I've been walking around and I'm kind of cold. I'll put this out here in the shade. And maybe we'll remember to check the temperature out here. But it gets cold at night here because the elevation. And in here, it's really warm because these are rock walls. This is thermal mass and it has skylights. Now, I have mixed thoughts on skylights. I don't want skylights over living areas, regular living areas, because skylights tend to always leak. Now, maybe if we're building concrete roofs, we could figure out a way to make skylights that don't leak, but I would rather just have, like, between two parts of a building, a courtyard that even if it did leak, it wouldn't matter, and was all enclosed with translucent glass. And translucent glass is better than polycarbonate. This is a polycarbonate roof. This, this one here has about 21 years on it. You can already see the little holes are showing up in it. The parts over there have cracks in them. You can see that crack up there. A bat could come through that real easy. And it could also leak. And those are like probably 30 years or more old. And I just don't like it. I don't like things you eventually have to replace. And if it was frosted glass put into a metal framework, uh, it was all nicely protected, uh, it, part, part of a concrete roof, or between buildings, like I said, or part of a kind of atrium area, then it would last forever, allowing lots of heat to come into the building. And it's awfully nice when it's rainy out to have still sun coming in and even on a cloudy day there's a fair amount of solar radiation coming in and and then having thermal mass like this rock wall i mean this rock wall has problems because it has so many it, it's it's convoluted it's not smooth and so you get lots of spots where bats can live in it it's basically a bat house and so we've tried to put foam in here to, to cover that up but uh it's dang near impossible probably what i'm going to do with this is use cob to cover the outside and that will also insulate the thermal mass making it easier to keep it warmer this time of year it's almost too hot in here but most of the year it's kind of cold it's very hard to warm up or cool down this house i do have a really nice fireplace over here and that's cool but i don't want to have to run a fire ever for heating or cooling the house if we design at least in this climate and in most climates uh, if we design a house correctly, you don't need any energy for heating or cooling. That's the goal. That will always be the goal uh, because you shouldn't have to use electricity, the firewood, anything like that to heat and cool your house. Where are my keys? Out here, I might put a greenhouse over this area right here. We'll see.